Hi everyone, welcome back to more Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. We just got through beating Sandblock or whatever her name was. Uh, so now we get to explore Palletville. And I've also done some adjusting to my audio. Because I just made a recent discovery that the Yeti microphone has its own like settings and then I have my own settings in OBS and I think they're competing with each other causing problems with the audio so we'll we'll give it a test <laughs> is that magish medicines are everywhere help I don't know what that is medicines here in Pallet Prime, do you know what we'll do to our acquaintance rating? Yep. Any chance you could rid us of at least three? Yeah. Yes, I could definitely do that. I wish you would count the ones you've already taken out. Good day, mates. You look keen and full of beans. You ready for Pallet Prime Silly Fish Chuck Challenge? The Pallet Prime what? Sure. We've done this before. 30 coins. Sure. Alright. Don't wander off too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done this twice already. And we've won both times. Wait, why did we gotta start from all the way up here? Seriously? Oh crap. And then of course we can't jump. So stupid. You know what? I might not get this one. <laughs> You have such a large area, you can't jump over these obstacles. Pick, pick it up! Pick it up! Luigi, come on. How many we need? This is such a large area. I don't know if I'm going to get that one. Yep, he did not like that. Yeah. I am going to skip that one. That is not important to me. I'm not trying to 100% this game. Fungi Frenzy. Reach the area. I like this. Okay. Oh yeah, can't stop Ouija. See if I can make it. Yes. 
push. Which one can go twice? I could have sworn one of my characters could go twice. Maybe not. This is gonna affect me or not. I don't think it's gonna him up here. made it. Good job, Peach. Good job. Oh, we got this. Now, where is it? Close enough? Okay, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Ooh, I barely made that one. Uh, today taught me that life is precious. Relish your, replenish your energy after every battle. Forget the calories. Keep fighting for justice against Cursa. You'll count. You can count on my fork when the time comes. Okay. I've gotten kind of sidetracked. There was something I was looking at. What was it? Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the dragon. And I need a block there, so I need to keep an eye out for a block. Yeah. Can I help the dragon? No?
That don't seem right. Oh, and there's the block. What else? Oh yeah, I need to take out some of those. Tragedies occurred after Woodrow read aloud his Declaration of Love written underneath yonder yew tree. One, the planet's moon fell to the surface of the planet, and two, his girlfriend confessed to kissing the captain of the soccer team. Okay. So there's some footprints outside the door. So where are these going to take us? Whoa. Oh, so it's just an item. poem, The Strange and Conflicting Feelings of the Crofter's Cheesemonger, preceded an alien invasion. The entire planet was forced to harvest thousands of pounds of pumpkin spice in exchange for the freedom. Horrible. Uh, but pumpkin spice is pretty good. In small amounts, though. I do tire of it very quickly. This house I've not been in. And then there's one up top of the hill I've not been in. After Woodrow read his next poem, a luxury space cruiser crashed into a satellite. Debris fell from the sky for quite a while. Rabbits would be having a picnic and then BAM! Down would come some crystal hot tub or gold badminton cabinet. Mm hmm. Okay. Not going that one. Okay. Oh yeah, it was this I saw. Curse's army has no appreciating appreciation for our quaint old fashioned small town charm. Oh, and I need those no too. No one puts delicious desserts in danger while I'm around. I'll deal with this personally. We're not here for the pie, Rabbit Luigi. Thankfully, Bowser's itching for a pie, too. At least he'll take it seriously. So, Rabbit Luigi, if there are any salted Honeycrisp fritters in there, mm. please bring some back. That sounds good. Honeycrisp fritters? Destroy the eyes. 
Okay, I need to heal. And I need to manage my team. He's... Okay. Drop demolisher. Okay. That's a burn effect. That's actually pretty good. Damage, don't really need that. I'll do one glide boost. Well, maybe two. And then he needs some sparks. Which sparks should we give him? Give him that one. We'll try out some new ones. Why not? Try that. Electro Dash and Electroid. Gust and Splash. Let's upgrade you. Max four. Only three there. I'm going to save that, maybe. On a range, yep. I'm gonna do that one. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I've weakened them. Which is good, I guess. Um, okay. This is a weird spot to start from. Hey! 
This might not be the best Sparks either. So I really need something with a lot of coverage. Nothing with him, unfortunately. By normal characters, this would be easy. Did me some good. I needed him to go over here. Nothing, right? Should be the last one. <laughs> Wonder if I can hit this. <laughs> no. First, we're going to go down there. Shit. 
should be the last eye, so we should be good. I think. Oh, damn Goombas. Taco Tuesday. Yep, I think that was it. We are good. Battle clear. Yay, and now you've messed up my team again. Huh. Sweet. I wouldn't feel too bad for the farmer. He keeps trying to plant candy corn. Yeah, I wish it worked that way, but it don't, buddy. Super mushrooms. I wish we could sell them. He's got the exclusive rights. Hmm. Of course he does. So let's pull up a map here. So I still need to hunt down those. And then that's pretty much it. Then we have... This up here. How do I get over here? There used to be a magician or something right here, or a mediation, whatever you call it. How do I get down here? Okay. Am I gonna have to really walk all the way around? Let's just go for a walk. Thanks for the save. I need to get ready for the Pristine Peaks Hot Cocoa and Fondue Expo. That sounds nice. Oh. Uh, I need to go down. Get some hot cocoa. Takes me up there. I don't know if I really want to go up there. Did I ever fully explore up there? I can't remember. I did not. There we go. Whoa. This is probably going to be like a salt thing. Oh, got an acorn too. Fantastic. Yeah. 
And there's a Goomba. We did that. Oh, I'm lost. Oh boy, am I lost. So I need to turn around, right? I need to go this way. Yes. We got a bit of lag. Not that. But there's one I can take out. And then I need to go back the other way. Defeat the depleters. Let's -a go. Ah. Um, you know what? They got Peach and Luigi, and they just had to run into us. Mario, you're going to get Peach up and over there. Alright, that's one of three. Now I want to go back. I don't think I've checked this house out, have I? Ooh, the lag, the lag, the lag. here. Get up there. Bury the hatchet. I'm pretty sure I've been in here because this has the underground path. Actually, I think I'm wrong. Because this is not familiar to me. Yes, I have been in here. Okay. Let's exit that. Uh. 
Oh, wow. Huh? Oh. All right. Let's take this tree. So I have a feeling about this tree. Oh, nice. I wonder, can I defeat the same one? And it still count? Oh, and I can't make it over there. That's fine. I can target him over here. <laughs> Luigi gets so excited. Yep, it does work. So then that, that counts as two, is two of three. You know what? We're going to go back real quick. Because I don't know if there's any more of these guys further down where I'm going. So we're going to go in, go back out, and that should refresh the enemy. We can do it one more time and get another acorn.
So in each time it starts out a little bit differently. Let's go. We got our acorn and another mission complete. Oh, there was another one up here. Oh, well. And I am going in the right direction. I am so confused. I am, but if you're here for anything but a pine cone bird feeder, you're out of luck. Uh, that sounds nice, but Woodrow, the warden, sent us to have you repair the bridge. Well then, I'll just take my imaginary axe and fell some imaginary trees so I can mill some imaginary lumber. You'll have to forgive him. His prized axe his prized axe was stolen. I saw who did it too. <sighs> Doesn't matter who did the deed. We all know who Mastermind is. Still, if I had it back, I could fix the bridge. Follow me to the village. I'll lead you right to the thief. To the thief. Where did you go? up there. Well, then I'm just gonna fast travel. <laughs> this is the right house. I saw the thief head for it with the axe in hand. At least I think he did. Huh? Oh. Let me handle this. Interrogations require a delicate touch. Come on out with your hands up, pup. 
We're just here for the axe, but we'll do this the hard way if we have to. Yeah, that's not really a negotiation. Oh yeah, where's your warrant? <laughs> How about probable cause? Hobbyist corpus? I'm calling the lawyer. <laughs> Anyhow, you didn't hear it from me, but the villager at the pumpkin house was bragging about his new axe. Oh, uh, could you be a little more specific? Your house looks like Pumpkin Central, if you know what I mean. I meant the other pumpkin house. The villagers... The villager, there's more... The villager, there's more crooked than two pretzeled wrestling. Trust me. I'm not home. The guy at the other pumpkin house. He crawled over hot coals for a tree bane. Multi-purpose woodman, woodman's axe. Assuming that's the type of axe that went missing. Where is there our other pumpkin house? Pumpkin house lead. Where is there another pumpkin house? I mean, that's literally a pumpkin over there. I doubt this is the other pumpkin house that they're talking about. No, of course, this is a gypsy. You are the fortune teller. Doomed. Sorry, just finished mixed apple sponge. Just finished some mixed apple sponge pudding. Too good to resist. Special <laughs> Luck is with you. I'm usually too busy to take walk-ins at Madam Bostrella's Dimensional Drift Departures. If it's glory through combat you seek, then come. Choose your party wisely and go beyond the gateway. Sure, we'll do it while we're here. Yes. And then we can go hunt down this other pumpkin house. I mean, this is literally a house made from a pumpkin. Stop, Ouija. <laughs> oh, yeah. See that. Wow, this is a lot of enemies. Okie dokie.
Holy crap, this is a lot of things. Damn. Clever Goombas. Him. There we go. That should wipe out a good chunk of them. Does not belong. Like, are y'all done? Done yet? Damn. Luigi. And those three little rascals back there. Ooh, okay. Alright. 
Gotcha! Ho ho! That way, at least Mario makes it out alive. I think that's everyone. Yes. All right, let's go find this pumpkin house. Well done. No, I don't want to try again. I'm good. So, a pumpkin house. Could this be the pumpkin house? Let's go look over here. Everyone's all healed up before I get sucked into a battle. What other pumpkin house? There's still nothing. Did I look at these? Each time Woodrow read a poem, tragedy would strike. Residents of Palad Prime naturally blamed him. They would forbid him to write poetry again, citing billions in property damage and his use of cliched metaphors. I don't know if I ever looked at these. Residents held a poetry slam contest to find a new poet laureate, as Woodrow's poems were always followed by tragedy. Woodrow entered the contest wearing a disguise to prove it wasn't his poetry that caused a disaster, but bad luck. Yes, we did read these. 142 cases of... Because I remember that. I remember that one. So this was not the pumpkin house. What other pumpkin house could they be referring to? I mean, I don't understand. Everyone 
play it cool and follow my lead. Time to go deep undercover. Hello. Really, Beepo? We're with Pallid Prime Pest Solutions. We need to spray your home for a uh, hippopotamus. <laughs> That's the worst lie ever. One, I think I'd know a hippo in my own home. Even a pygmy one. Two, why would anyone call an exterminator to take care of even one hippo, let alone a bloat or herd? All right, fine. We're not exterminators. We're special investigators with the Lumberjack Crimes Bureau. Is this about Sweet Lopex Axe? I heard about it, but I didn't steal it, I swear. First, the songbird at his home. That busybody sees everything. If anyone here did steal the axe, he'd know. Songbird. Guys, I've been out getting the word on the street. We need to find the songbird. He sees everything that... You guys know all this already, don't you? I should have stayed with the group. I promise I don't know who Songbird is. Uh oh, no, I, there was a painting there. Okay, good, it just took me out here. Woodrow is reciting his first poem just before the great tree blight of Palad Prime strikes. It took 500 leaf blowers to tidy up afterwards. Residents were fined a million coins due to the noise violations. It's impossible a million coins. No one's got a million coins. Who is the songbird? Candy corn guy. Maybe it's this one because there's all these birds outside it. like the songbird has flown the coop. Thankfully, he left behind a note for anyone who happened by. Uh, note? That's not a note. It's a private diary. <laughs> Had to run to the shop today instead of keeping an eye on things. Bumped into my neighbor, the folk. He said he saw someone run through the village with an axe while I was gone. Of all the days to run out of pumpkin deodorant. You pumpkin well, deodorant, that sounds terrible. The songbird's neighbor, the folk, can tell us exactly who stole the lumberjack's axe. Also, according to this, the town candle maker took a loan to get hair transplants. His wife is furious. <laughs> I recruited a CI, confidential informant. He told me that the fort can tell. Yeah, we already know. Shoot, I thought I got ahead of you guys this time. I gave my CI so many coins, too. Alright, well, who's the fork? I would assume this one, because he has the fork outside his house. And a rake on the roof. Another diary or note. Looks like the folk <laughs> is out to lunch. Thankfully, he left a note behind. Should anyone visit while he's gone? Oh, seriously? <laughs> that is not a note. That's a private. Um, People don't care. I'm sick and tired of my neighbors boasting about the pitchforks. The balance, the time shape, the sharpness. I've had enough. I'll show them all. If there is any truth behind the legend of the magic whetstone, I plan to find out, and I won't be back until I do. The sharpening fairy will rise from the river to give me what I seek. 
revenge against petty pitchfork pedants. Are we talking about the dragon? Oh, boy. Hopefully the fork won't have to testify. A defense attorney could make a good case for a competency hearing. Uh. Hmm. Let's go back in again. Looks like the fault. Oh, uh, seriously? Right. That's just ah. the same stuff. Cause that's the only thing I can think of. Is the dragon. Right? I mean, this is the last house. Let's check here while we're here. Nothing here. I don't know who that is. I am stumped. No idea. I, I really don't know. See, and I've already been in this one. Songbird. I've already done that. I can't get in this one. And I've been in all these. and no reason to talk. What? Track down the fort. We did that. And he's not there. 
Beshrew the fates! A wee begone woodsman, a epileptic maniac, maniac, and a enigmatical ig puppeteer behind it all. It's all over for, for palette prime. Okay. Let's see what can we purchase? Understand the point of these. They're just skins, I think. Oh. Track down the fork. seem to be the fork. There's a guy up there. Surely there's something that has to be done with this dragon. Oh, there he is. Beepo, head of the investigative task force for code name Timber. I'd like to... Don't bother, I've heard them all before. How'd you find a fork as dull as you are? Can you even eat tomatoes with that thing? You brought the safe you brought the safety fork? Anyhow, I don't have time to talk. I need to find a magic whetstone so I can one-up my haters. Look, we need intel from you. You have a weird fixation about how sharp your fork is. Why not work together? <gasps> yep. The magic whetstone I need is impossible to find. Even if you get close, it's invisible to normal people. Normal? <laughs> I don't think anything about this is normal. I agree. We'll perform a grid search. Put on a bolo. Get a sketch artist. Why don't we try searching along the path first? Follow me. Which path? There are so many paths. Where did you go? Okay, so I need to go to the right. You know, are you going to leave me straight... Dude, seriously? Seriously. That dude just took off on me. What the hell, dude? Found the magic whetstone. Don't forget to bring it to the fork. Okay, let's go back the way we came. That's probably the easiest. Ooh, barely made it away from him.
get this back to him, and then hopefully he can tell us who has the freaking axe. It's up here. Alright, dude, I got you your stone. The magic whetstone is real. And so will be my revenge. I don't know if we should be helping this guy. We're going to pretend we didn't hear that. Now, quid pro quo. Stop naming names. I saw the whole thing. First, I spotted him getting sweet. Talked by... Talked by that dryad in the forest. Him who? Naturally, I got curious. I followed him to Sweet Lopex, where I saw him sneak inside. Seconds later, he ran out with the axe, scared witless. He was being chased by a beaver. Or was it a hat? It was hard to tell. Out with it, man! Who? The thief is... The villager at the pumpkin house. Wait. Um, which pumpkin house? Sorry, I forget you're not from around here. It's the tallest one in the village. You can't miss it. I knew it. It's always the first suspect you question that turns out to be the culprit. TV always gets it right. Hmm. All right, so now we have to go back and accuse him. Oops. All right, dude, give it up. We know you. We know you're in there, and you got the axe. All right, open up and give us the axe, and know who we about lawyering up. We have an eyewitness. You're bluffing. There's no way anyone saw me. Not do what I didn't do. Our witness is willing to testify against you in court. What do you have to say about the dryad? <laughs> The dry had made you her patsy. Okay, I'll sign a full confession. Just get in here and help me. Looks like our suspect's life of wanton disregard has finally caught up to him. Thief or not, we've got to help him. Oh, do we? I mean, what exactly is our obligation here? We haven't even been deputized. We just need to get the axe, Bebo. That's it. I better get a commendation for this. Or at least appear on an episode of Real Crime Files, Pallet Prime. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, dude. Let's try and figure this out. Axe, oh, he got it right stuck. In the of a darkness puddle too. That part wasn't my fault, I swear. I was just supposed to keep the axe hidden. That angry goo showed up out of nowhere. You know, when you think about it, it's really the puddle that ultimately is the guilty party here. We'll deal with you later. Right. What's in here? Oh, there's a poster or painting. God damn it. Come on. I guess we can't see it right now. Reach the area. Let's go. So it's not a defeat one. And you cannot get over there. Okay.
Alright. That'll be good. Ooh, this is a long path. So Mario is the one that can do the double jump. about that. I should have done this first. Good there. I'm sorry, Luigi. You're gonna be. You're gonna take a hit. Damn. 
Okay. Use one of these. Get her out of danger. That's good. Okay, y'all just stay back there, okay? Let me do what I gotta do. Why not? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I do not get that, but okay. This is a long trek. Yeah! 
Rid of that one. Good, 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 good. I'm not even going to bother with that. You need to eat something. Yeah. Okay, y'all just stay back at the beginning. Y'all just stay there. I'm good. Y'all don't need to follow me. Please, ah. Uh. Question is, can I get Luigi over here? Damn. Okay. Doing good. Alright, right, Mario's over there, Peach is over there, now it's just Luigi, and I think Luigi will be fine getting over there. All of them are stuck. And they're just throwing a fit. Oh, he's all the way back. That's why I couldn't summon him. He's still on the playing field. There we go, we got the axe. Sweet, we got it. My axe? My beautiful axe, is she okay? Did the thief oil the blade after each use to avoid micro, micro abrasions? I doubt it. 
I'm so sorry, sweet Lopek. It was that darn dryad. She promised me a windfall, a windfall pumpkin harvest if I stole your axe and kept it hidden. <laughs> she wants to stop me from chopping down trees in the forest. No. But I'm a lumberjack. It's what I do. Still, if I were a guardian of the forest, I suppose I'd feel the same Have way. Have you tried talking things out with the dryad? Surely there's some compromise to be had. Ugh. She can't even be found. Not unless she wants to be. Her lair is deep in the forest. Enough! I can't even fix the bridge thanks to her meddling. I'm putting an end to this feud once and for all. What does that mean? Don't do anything rash. As soon as we take the thief here to jail and testify in court, we'll come find you. We don't have a jail or a courthouse or anything like that. Woodrow just makes us write an apology poem. What? Oh, forget <laughs> it. Let's uh, find some pumpkin spice donut to make Jeannie handle all the paperwork for us. Case closed. Bebo's a bit of a dick. <laughs> uh, sweet. Anything hidden in here? Anything at all? Woodrow gave it us all with his poem, I Know Herald of Ill. For once, nothing seemed to go wrong afterwards. Until an intradimensional doomstorm measuring 9.5 on the terror scale arrived. I thought those were a myth. Okay. I should have known better than to go in with the dryad. For now, I only steal for myself. I promise. How about not stealing at all? And that sounds pretty good. Something large let loose from a storm above the planet. Woodrow couldn't get out of the way because he was wearing stilts. By the way, I knew he wasn't naturally that tall. I thought he had lifts in his shoes. <laughs> uh, I thought he was that tall too. I didn't know he had stilts on. A steamship landed on Woodrow, squashing him flat as a pancake. It happened during dinner. Most passengers didn't even get a turn at the cheese trolley beforehand. Woodrow was crushed by a falling cruise ship, then struck by lightning. He has rotten After luck. After that, a rain cloud became his permanent halo, forever influencing his outlook and ensuring he'd be a bummer at parties. Yeah. Sorry. Bigger bummer. Yeah, if you had that much bad luck, you know, you would do the same thing. You'd be bummed all the time. Yes. Alright. I guess the only thing left to do is to go into the forest and maybe look for the dryad. That's really the last thing I can think of, and then we'll be set with Palletville. Sweet. All right, I'm going to end it here for today. We'll pick it up finishing off Palletville, and then we'll head to our next planet. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.